Hey, what's up, guys? It's Bass Fishing 243. Been dormant, uh, but I'm back, and I'm ready to show you something. So, I've been dormant for a while. Uh, I've been working on a project, uh, the biggest of which I'm, well, not for the channel related, but I've been moving into my house here. Uh, I've got a house, I'm off the dorms, off campus finally. Um, but I've also been working on another project. And this one is related to the channel. I mean, you'll see it all the time. If you follow me on Instagram, you if you don't follow me, you should. Um, I, you'll usually get a little bit of a heads up when a video is about to come out. Um, and then also, you've already seen it if you do follow me. Uh, but if you haven't, follow me on Instagram or watch the video. Um, I've already posted pictures of this project and I don't know what I'm going to name the title of this video yet but no matter what you'll probably figure out what it is by the thumbnail. So I guess I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stop stalling. Um, the thing is I got a boat now. I got a boat now. So let's go. Take a look. She is a Triton TR21 2003. Um, 2000, yeah, 2003 Triton TR21. It's got a matching 2003 Mercury Optimax. 225 horse outboard on it. Um, yes, if you're concerned about the 03 Opti 225, know that this one did have the thermostat fixed so the you know, thermos or yeah the 03 225s were known to have thermostat issues and blow up internally because it didn't realize it needed to cool the engine down so yes this one has had the thermostat upgrade she's fixed up she's good I took her out I put it at 60 miles an hour I know she's got more more in her than that um, it's got a four blade four blade prop on there uh, yeah I've really just been just been cleaning the boat out and getting it ready to be on camera because I have not taken this thing out fishing yet I just haven't had the free time from work and school and also it's legally not my boat yet I still have to go and get it registered I'm um, doing that this weekend don't worry. In the state of Missouri, I've got 30 days, and I've only had it for a week, so legally I'm fine. I just have to go over to the DMV and get it licensed and get sales tax paid for and all that. Um, yeah, let's go take a look at it. So if you're curious, right now I've had all these open because I've been letting it air out and clean. Um, I'm starting in the back. I don't know why. I get, these trays are nice, but they get a little in the way sometimes. So I got some little trays for tools. This is going to be the biggest project of this boat. This boat is not going to be fishing wor worthy yet. Um, and I'll tell you why. That's the crank. Crank and battery works. Master power works. All this, this stuff is all good. This is done. Shot. Knees replaced. Badly. Those batteries are almost as old as the boat is. So I'm going to need to get new batteries for it. Um, also, that three bank charger, don't know how much longer that thing's gonna live. So I'm gonna get a new charger and new um, deep cycle batteries. Cranking battery works. This is actually a, a second, man, get out of my eyes, flies. There's actually a second cranking battery. We weren't really sure, as soon as we opened this up and really started looking at it, we were like, what the heck is this? Why is this here? but we're gonna figure this all out I want to make this a four battery systems or a cranking battery and um, actually I might throw another deep cycle there replace those two put another one there I actually might make this a five battery system that bat battery charge is going out those are out replace those maybe I could probably fit another one in there and then just wire it up so I have a 36 volt system and you'll see why later when I get to the front of the boat, why I'm going to make that. Thanks, neighbor. Just rev your truck as you pass my house. Um, 
I want to make that a 36 volt system because I want to put a 36 volt trolling motor on the front. Right now it's got a 24 volt and it doesn't really do much. Well, it doesn't do anything right now because these batteries are done. They don't, they don't hold a charge at all. We've tried it, they don't hold a charge. So I don't even know if the trolling motor works on the front of this boat because the batteries that power the trolling motor don't hold a charge. But um, regardless, this is the biggest project back here getting this figured out and worked on um, and then I get to add actual add-ons that I want to add on to it later um, but this is the most pressing most immediate issue this trays are gonna be nice once I get all the once I get a bunch of basic tools to stick back here those trays will be really nice to have <coughs> oil does take it does take the stupid expensive mercury DFI oil um, my cap to charge it gas over there my this is the what starboard side box these this was nasty beforehand uh, I've got it I s sponged it and s like scrubbed it out uh, fixed the drain the drain was all plugged up so I had to poke a hole in the drain to let that drain out correctly scrubbed it and then let it dry and then vacuumed it I need to scrub it again but um, it's looks, it looks a whole lot better than it did. And then also, all of these ridges just need power washed. So that's another thing on my to-do list, is power wash all those inset ridges in there, just to get all that dirt out of there. Um, but that's on there. That's on my to-do list. I like the fact that these trays all have dividers for your 3700 boxes. And that one also, that's just a seat seat mount thing. I don't really use the seats ever, but it's there. Um, that box is also, you can see where my shop vac has been running back and forth there. need to scrub this one out again as well, but it's coming along a lot better than it looked before. Die, mosquito. And I started vacuuming this one out. <clears throat> the vacuum does not get it quite as clean as a power wash does. Um, so I'll have to power wash it, but that's my starboard set or starboard port. That's right. That's port. That's starboard because I'm facing the back of the boat. Anyways, live wells. The one thing I really don't like about these live wells is they don't. They have a pump out, but it doesn't pump everything out. So I'm always going to have some standing water in there, but I need to let. I'm letting left these open to let this uh, water evaporate out and once it all evaporates out I'm gonna get down there with the shop vac and clean out all that crap down the bottom down there but they're two big deep live wells we checked them when I bought it all the pumps work um, except the research but my buddy says I can get a research pump for like 20 bucks so the research pumps are gonna need work done but everything else works pump in pump out aerator everything else works just fine um, I got actually aerator that's the same as research. Never mind. But <clears throat> it's the back. Just a big. It's a 21 footer, so it's she's got a big, big back deck. A lot of space for my co angler to sit back here. Um, one day I will add power poles to the back of this boat, but that is a much much later day. And then come around to the front here. I wanted a boat with three seats just because I like to I mean my family's never been big into fishing but we have been big into boating so I like the ability to have a third seat here but the nicest thing I like about this third seat is when I'm on a tournament just rip that puppy right out and I got a step and I don't have to worry about crushing that middle seat that's just a blanket step there uh, too comfortable these seats on the edges are comfortable. I sat in both of them when we made our test drive. I sat in both seats, they're real good. Um, stereo system runs throughout the boat. And the nicest, coolest thing at the stereo system, under there, that's a subwoofer. <laughs> so I will be bumping at the beginning of tournaments. I'll be going nuts, cranking up the bass and everything else. Even though I don't, I'm not a 
part here. I don't really have much use for a subwoofer, but I am going to crank that in the beginning of tournaments. Um, <coughs> Co-angler seat. Good, easy foot rest here. Grab onto one handle here, and you've also got another emergency handle that pulls out. She rides real good. Got some spots for my co-angler. Put rods and a rod buckle for my co-angler. I like that. As a co-angler for two years, I like to have the features that co-anglers like because I know how nice they are to have. And for my seat, I got the hot foot. You already saw that when I showed this up over. That was something that I had to have in my boat. No matter what, I wanted a hot foot. And the reasoning, my reasoning behind having a hot foot is we go to lakes like Kentucky and Pickwick and other just big open lakes that have big waves. I despise big waves. And when I'm dry, I'm, I've not been the boater that a lot of guys on the team, a lot of the guys on the team grew up driving boats. They know how to do it. They, they grew up driving boats. They're some of the best boat drivers I've ever rode on, or rode, rode with. Um, I am not. I grew up, the only boat I ever had access to as a little kid was my grandpa's old 16-foot Ranger. He just, just, boating was not in our family super extensively, so I don't have that boating but driving experience. So the hot foot allows me to make my quick throttle adjustments as I see fit and I can keep two hands on the steering wheel at all times. I had to have that. If I didn't have that, I felt I felt I was unsafe for me to drive only with hand throttle, one hand on the steering wheel, in big water. I just don't like it. I like having that hot foot. I can make my quick throttle adjustments, keep two hands on the wheel, keep good control over the boat. I liked it at Lake of the Ozarks when I test drove it, um, handled it great. It just, it's just something I, I want to do. I wanted the hot foot. I felt it was a safety feature. Um, more importantly, steering wheel. This graph surprisingly works. I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep it, but surprisingly this graph does work. Um, all of these dials, we checked all of them, they all work. Everything back here. Nav lights all work, master power, everything everything works. Um, all gauges we checked work. Got half a tank of fuel in it right now. Um, this ram mount eventually is going to go out and a bigger one is going to come in its place. Oh, that's my radio antenna. I didn't really know what that was. Um, yeah, I'm going to get a bigger ram mount to replace this because I want to put a 12 inch graph right here. Um, and I'll probably replace the dash graph with something smaller that I can use for navigation and then graphing. That's my goal. Um, but I'm going to have a pretty pretty solid setup here once I get that together. Ugh. Lifting up here. It's my cooler. I have scrubbed that cooler out. She is clean now. Cooler. I haven't really tested if it works or how well it works, but this is also my main, gonna be my main track tackle system, and I just, I like all these little ridges. The little ridges allows you to fit a 3700 box perfectly in there, uh, and then since they're so, they're so small, if you don't want it, it's not in the way, and that's nice, I like that. Got a bump board slot for, I can stick a bunk board, I don't have one yet. That's on the to-do list, as well as a net. I don't have a net yet, but I'll get one shortly. This is the box that needs the most cleaning still. Um, I scrubbed it out once, power washed it, and vacuumed it after it dried, and it looks like it needs scrubbed again. But this is the box that needs the most work to, to it still. Um, I'm surprised this box goes way, way back there. So I don't really know what I'm going to use that for yet, but I'll figure that out as it comes. 
and then the subwoofer and stuff is actually in here as well as some basic cleaning supplies I also bought from Bass Pro uh, that needs vacuumed out still again I vacuumed it once um, before I bought my shop back and as I began to regret it and I went and bought the shop back and I'll do a better job all that inset needs power washed out again got my fire extinguisher um, yeah and that's the kicker that's the soundboard controls for the uh, um, subwoofer that's it's ridiculous how big that subwoofer is but anyways that's my starboard that's my starboard side rod box the port side here the hinge that hinge needs replaced it does not hold anymore I got some more basic cleaning supplies my seat I've just been working on I'm not concerned with cleaning this because this is all gonna come out it's nice having a rotted rod organizers like this are nice until you start having an obsessively large amount of rods and then they just get in the way I think if I tear this out I'm pretty sure this is all carpeted because I can see carpet back there I'm pretty sure it's all carpeted back there I'm just gonna rip this whole piece out as well as all those rod tubes just take everything out here and just put rods in it I don't need the organizer I've got 10 rods already and there's already seven slots here so I've already got more rods than I've got slots for that organizer and all these little velcro things I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do with these either the seller told me that they used them for lures sometimes I don't think I'm gonna do that I don't really know I'll probably use little things um, any small things I want to just hang up I might stick in there um, but either way my nav lights um, yeah this this hinge is loose so that needs fixed there and then if I don't smack my head on the roof here is my deck big just big huge deck you can easily have two people up here uh, the biggest thing with the deck I'm gonna recess the foot pedal so I don't break my back out here um, this trolling motor if it works I'll use it for a little while um, if it doesn't work I'm just gonna say screw it and go straight to an Ultrex I've used the Ultrex before it is absolute beauty I will not use any other trolling motor than an Ultrex on this boat if this trolling motor doesn't work I'm just gonna go straight to an Ultrex um, that front graph also works I don't know how but it does transducer on the front um, eventually gonna replace that too um, all those the buttons nav light yeah anchor light I don't know what that C T Y or S Y what? Oh well. Trim oh, those buttons all work. Um, we checked all the nav lights already. Nav light ports work. Um, yeah. I like this deck. The fact that this had a huge deck is nice. I just I like it. All these little metal cleats that just stick up around the boat. There's some back there. There's another one there. I think we're thinking those are for light light bars to put black lights or something either way I have no purpose for them so I'm, a, I'm gonna take them out eventually but they're not any they're not in the immediate way so I'm not gonna deal with it anytime soon the rod buckles do work that's something I really like I liked having rod buckles that can retract all the way out of the way And I got my first my first sticker on there, Missouri State. I'm thinking I might go to zdecals.com and get one of those carpet decals. Just right right here on the big uh, Bass Fishing 243 Pentagons. Just slap that right there on the front. I don't know yet. I'll, I'll see how much that's going to cost me to put a Bass Fishing 243 logo on there. And then I'll just need to put some more personalization stickers on here stuff to just make it mine um, not gonna overload it of course but 
just put some little things on those running boards. I might put, I don't know, I'm, I'm torn between my URL, youtube.com slash bassfishing24, or slash users slash bassfishing243, like Tyler's Real Fishing does on his boat. Thinking, torn between doing that or looking for some Bible verses that I really like and putting those on the sides too. I haven't really talked much, but I've been Southern Baptist my whole life. Uh, I just try to keep it on the down low on this channel just because, yeah, I mean, I can because why not? Um, but yeah, I've been Southern Baptist my whole life, so I'm torn between either getting my URL on there or finding some Bible verses that I really like and putting those on the running boards. Um, I'll probably have something Bass Fishing 243 related right here. And then also, GoPro mount is going to go right, right there. Is GoPro mount is going to go here or here. I'm not sure yet which, but I'm going to get a GoPro mount somewhere in here and maybe on the back of the cow or on the top of the motor um, I might get something to stick down into that seat pedal stool when I'm just by myself that would actually look pretty sweet I might find some a pole or something I can stick down into the seat pedestal and put a GoPro hovering above uh, but yeah this is my boat Triton TR21 she needs some work done to her I'm going to get that. Don't expect to see her on tournaments anytime in the immediate future. Uh, I think I'm probably going to take the rest of this semester off as a boater and just keep fishing as co-angler. And then next spring is iffy. Uh, maybe the later spring I might fish some tournaments as a boater. Early spring, definitely not. Um, spring break might be my switch place. Might be where I swap and officially take over as a, as a boater instead of as a co-angler um, just because I need to need to get the wiring done Nick is Nick I fished with Nick before he's a I didn't really know how knowledgeable he was about boats but he's really opened my eyes like he knows his stuff when it comes to boats so he's offered to come and help me redo all the wiring on the batteries and actually the jack plate on there it's got a jack plate it's actually off kilter a little bit not so much that it really throws off a problem but it is enough that we need to fix it soon so he's going to take it out we're going to go up to he's probably stockton and just run and tweak the jack plate get the jack plate twisted back so it's level so it takes some pressure off that transom um, but it's that batteries and then graphs i need to put i need to put some good graphs on here these graphs they have sonar it's not very good but it's got sonar um, but I need I need something navigation related because I I'm from st. Louis I don't know these lakes I mean I've been out there enough times that I kind of know my way around now but I still don't know these lakes I need something with navigation so I'm probably gonna go for a cheap quick solution a hook hook two from Lawrence eventually I want to put some carbons or some the new HDS live one to the other eventually on here to have some really good graphs but I might go with like a hook or something else cheap from Lawrence just as an immediate solution uh, also I haven't thrown out hummingbird but I don't like hummingbird never had much fun with hummingbird graphs um, anyway. I uh, haven't thrown them out because we do get a 50% discount because they sponsor the overarching trail that college fishing fishes with. So I can send out a form and I get 50% off Hummingbird, but I can also get a 35% rebate on the Rants. So uh, the Hummingbird discount is pretty nice, especially when talking Helixes or you get a Helix 7 for, well, what's a Helix 7 around? 500 bucks? cut that in half 250 bucks for a helix can't argue with that that's a pretty good graph for 250 bucks but Humbert, the helixes they have their annoyances that I I still find them annoying but I might be willing to overlook the, uh, the irritation because the price is so low 
Um, but Ultrax is definitely going out front. For sure, Ultrax at some point. Uh, that Maxim is nice trolling motor, but you cannot beat an Ultrax. Those things are super nice. Um, and sometime in the far future, power poles are going on the back of this boat. But that's far, far future. Not anytime soon. But this is my boat. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys later. Peace.